Hi, and welcome to the complete Unity game development course, where you are going to put together a first-person zombie shooter completely from scratch. Hi, I'm Penny DeBale, and I've been teaching game development, artificial intelligence, and computer graphics for over 25 years at a variety of universities around the world. I've created numerous online courses on Unity, as well as having written several books on the topic. This is a course I've wanted to create for a while now as it brings game development and makes it available to the beginner. By the end, you will have created a fully fledged first person shooter while having explored every aspect of Unity from coding to animation. Now, don't worry if you've never used Unity before. The first section is designed to take you step by step through the interface and explain all the windows and the ways that you can work in Unity from scripting, importing models, working with physics, and creating basic shapes. In the next section, you will create your own first-person character controller and embellish it with an animated model of the character's torso complete with weapon that can be shot and reloaded. We will then move on to the creation of pickup items such as ammunition and medical kits that you'll be able to place in your game to help the player along as they run out of bullets or get attacked. Of course, then we need a game environment to make the game in. So we're going to use the Unity Terrain Sculpting System to build a large mountainous world dotted with little villages and other props. And you can't have a first person shooter game without something to shoot at. The next section is dedicated to the animation of zombie characters that you will make run and attack using the Unity animation system. And to these, we will follow on with an examination of artificial intelligence techniques that will control the zombie behaviors, such as moving about in the environment, wandering and attacking and chasing the player character. We will then combine all these things to add the shooting mechanic to calculate if the player has aimed accurately and work in death animations. The final part of the game structure will be the addition of a heads up display to inform the player of their health and ammunition level as well as a radar for detecting zombies and a compass to help you find your way home. Even though at this point you'll have all the tools you need to finalize your game, we will spend a little extra time adding some polish where I will show you the special effects that can really take your game to the next level and give it that professional feel. I bet you can't wait to get started. Once you see what Unity can do and what you can achieve in such a short time, I'm sure your mind will be flooded with more ideas. As always, I can't bring you these courses alone and I'd like to thank my team of Adrian and Lee for all their support and Ed from CodeStars for coming on board and providing extra feedback during the development process. So what are you all doing here sitting and listening to me? We won't get any games developed doing this. Let's jump right in and get started. <laughs> 